Good morning, grade fours. Welcome to STEM Lockdown Digital School. Today we are going to do English. Well, in this lesson, I'm teaching you English, if I am. And my name is Sheena Cooney, and I will be your teacher and your presenter. So today is the 1st of June on a Monday, and it's a beautiful day outside. And I hope that if it's not, you're still going to have an absolutely beautiful day. So if you want to send any homework to me, or if you want to send anything that you've done about this lesson or with regards to our lessons, you can send it to my email address at sheenamelody at gmail.com. And I will have a look at your work and I will give you some feedback. Okay. Now, who can tell me? Now, remember, grade fours, we're going to use the chat box, okay? Because if we have everybody talking at the same time on our audio, it won't stream very well, and then I won't be able to hear everybody's thoughts, okay? Please also keep your videos off just in case because it also affects the streaming. Now, if you can just tap any messages or any suggestions in our little chat box there, then I can see what you're thinking and I can see any of your answers. And I can also welcome you and say hello and at least meet you. So that would be really, really cool. So I see we have a, quite a few people. Some I recognize, I think. Adele, welcome. So your Don family, welcome. I don't know if you remember me. I took a lesson or two earlier in the year. So it's nice to have you here. So do you know what we are going to talk about today? If you look at the pictures on the screen, what do you think we're going to talk about today? Any ideas? Yes? Very good, Monique. And if if the name that I call you by is the name of your device and not your name, you can tell me your name and then I'll just jot it down and try and remember it for next time. Okay. You are absolutely right. We are talking about guide dogs. Now, do you know what a guide dog is? Would you like to tell me what you know about guide dogs? So you know what they are, do you know what they do? So Monique has a suggestion that guide dog helps you if you are blind, very good. And we can also see an example in the picture. Would anybody else like to give any suggestions before I go to the next slide? And if you want me to return to a slide, just ask me, okay? I don't mind going back if it helps you. Because on this picture, we see a puppy in training, this little guide dog. And then on the left-hand side, we see a lady going up the stairs with a guide dog. Very good, Adele. They do bark when there is danger so that the owner can at least hear them. Good morning, Nakwanda. Hope you're well this morning. Awesome to have you. And then on the right-hand side, we also have a, gu a guide dog. That's right, Zoe. They help blind people. What else do you notice? Oh, Dante, is that your name, Adele? Dante, am I saying it right? I'm going to actually make a note of that so that I don't forget for next time. So just get my big book so that I can put your beautiful names in it and remember my grade fours. Okay, so Dante, I'm going to write your name here as well so I don't forget. And that I can at least call you by the right name. 
<laughs> okay, so if you notice, you're all very, very correct. Blind dog, uh, guide dogs do help blind people. And they also bark when there is danger because the blind person cannot see. Now, if you notice, the doggy on the right hand side is a Labrador. It's a Labrador. I'm sure you've all seen a Labrador before. If you haven't, now you can see a nice picture of one. And his collar is very special because his collar, can you see, is that yellow fluorescent collar. And the yellow fluorescent color means that on a dull day or a dark day or a nighttime, because remember a blind person can't see, so they can't tell if it's day or night, but at least when they're out and about, the dog can be seen with the fluorescent light. Very good, Monique. The dogs are not running around being crazy. You're so right. They've been very, very well behaved. They've been very good. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a very, very special guide dog. Now, can you see our little puppy in training? Now, perhaps you've also seen dogs with harnesses because that's the, what they wear. That it's, we don't call it a collar because it's not sitting around the neck. We call it a harness. Okay. And you'll probably see them walking next to somebody who is blind. Now, guide dogs are actually trained from two months old to act as the eyes of blind people. That's very young, isn't it? So my question to you is, have you seen a guide dog in the streets walking with a person? You can just say yes or give me a thumbs up. You don't have to write a long sentence unless you want to. So some have seen, some haven't. Very good. Have you um, seen guide dogs with people that are not blind, just somebody that needs the assistance maybe? So there's kind of a mixed response. Well, if you haven't seen them, today you're going to learn more about them. And if you have seen them, then you just have a little bit of a better imagery of what we are looking at. Now, I wonder, does anybody have a story that they know to share about a guide dog? If you don't, it's okay. If you do, you can share it in our chat box. That's right, Monique. They are trained from a very young age. Okay, Monique, type up your little story and share it with us, and I will read it out so that everybody can hear. And the more we learn, the better for us. So I'm going to wait a minute for anybody who'd like to type in a story to share. So if I go quiet, don't worry, I am still here. I haven't gone anywhere. It's okay. What I'll do is, even if I ask another question or look at another picture, I will still read your answer. Okay, so Dante, you have a question. What are the people that run? Okay, so maybe you're still busy typing there. Okay, so the people run with. I'm not quite sure what you mean, what people run with. Yeah. <coughs> There are people that have um, guide dogs that people that perhaps they might have an illness. For example, they might get epilepsy where they get uncontrollable shakes and the guide dog can actually help them. Okay. People who run with dogs in the morning. Um, it depends. Not everybody knows. 
a lot of people that run with their dogs are just running this who's speaking in the background there's someone speaking in the background someone's uh, uh, please put your mic on on mute if it's not um people who run with their dogs in the morning sometimes just run with their dogs to exercise them okay like i would also if i go for a walk in the dog park or a walk down the road when we're allowed to, then I would also put my dog on a little harness and take her for a walk. Now, this might be very rare, but do you know of anyone who trains guide dog puppies, perhaps? So, you know, Actually, I also don't know anybody who trains guide dog puppies. So it's not uncommon not to know. And that is why we actually learn about them because we don't know. If you are blind, would you like to have a faithful guide dog to help you? What do you think? Yes? I think so. I think it would be very, very nice. I agree with you, Grade Fours. I agree with you. It would be nice to have a guide dog to help. And it makes you feel a little bit more safer. So I'm going to read Nakwanda um, sharing. There was an old woman who was blind. She walked with her guide dog one day. Some strangers wanted to steal the old lady's, lady's money, so the dog started barking. Very good. Monique's sharing. Once when we were at a restaurant, there was a woman at a guide dog, and she was training it, and it was kind of crazy because it just started training. So it was still learning, and it was still excited. Very good. Why do you think that they choose Labradors? Because I think you do notice like golden retrievers and Labradors are quite the choice of dog a lot for a lot of people for as guide dogs. Why would it be the people's choice to choose a Labrador, do you think? They're not crazy. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that dogs are crazy. I think dogs are just excited. Some dogs are just more excited than others. They are trustworthy. They are very calm. You are absolutely right. Dante, it is true that you can train them. They are trainable. They just have that kind of nature where they can remain calm where they can be trained and it's almost like they understand why they're being trained. They have that empathy or that apathy for a person in distress and they can tell a person in distress and know how to help them. So that is quite a remarkable characteristic. Yes, they are very peaceful dogs. They are not aggressive by nature. Um, you'll also notice that a lot of families with children will choose Labradors as a family pet for these reasons. Okay. And also they are intelligent, so you can train them, which is very nice. So we're going to find out what a guide dog does. Yes, they don't bite you. Absolutely right, Monique. Now, we are not going to actually go to the link because we can't play the link while we are live. What I have done is I've included the link at the end of the slide. I've also included the link on the homework worksheets. And I've also included a link where you can find out more about guide dogs if you're interested. Okay, today we're going to share a story and share images of Nikki and her seeing eye dog, Alma. Okay, 
So Nikki's blind and she depends on Alma to help her every day. Now, what I need you to do is just to look at the pictures very, very carefully about how Alma does her job. And then I'm going to ask you a few questions about it. Now, after watching the video, I realized I was falling in love with Alma the dog. There is just something about it. There's no talking in the video, but it's just something about her presence and her nature you can actually feel while you're watching the video. So after this lesson, do go if you have time and watch Alma and Nikki. So this is Alma. Okay, can you see where Alma is at the moment? You're kind of looking at what Alma is looking at. All right. Now, Alma is at a corner. It's not a very long video, don't worry. It's not long at all. Now look at Alma, look what she's doing. What do you think she's doing when she comes to a corner? She's at a corner now. What do you think she's doing right in these pictures? How is she helping her owner? How is she helping Nikki? So look at the, there we go, Zoe, good. Very good, Nikonda. So Zoe suggests that Alma is looking left and right on the road. Nikonda suggests she's helping Nikki by helping her to cross the road. Very, very good suggestions. Tell me something, what is she, what is her body doing? Like the rest of her body, yes, yeah, she's looking, she definitely is looking left and right, and she definitely is helping Nikki. But what is the dog? What does the dog do the minute she get? You think she gets to a corner physically? Can you see what how she's positioned? Okay, she's standing still. Very good. She's standing still, or she is what else other than standing? Look at her shoulders. So she's definitely still, that's true. That's very good. But if you look at her shoulders, you can see that she is actually in one of the photos. She's not standing. So one photo she's standing. And then another photo, she is, no, she's definitely looking left and right. Absolutely. Can you see how, like, well behaved? She's very good. So she's sitting, then she stands, then she walks. Well done. So she sits, looks left and right. When it's clear, she stands, and then she walks. Very good. Well done. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Well done, grade fours. So here we are on another part of their journey. And this is the curb. And the reason why we call it a curb is because it's round. It's not a square corner. Okay. So what is Alma doing when she gets to a curb? Very good, Monique, good suggestion. She stands still and then she walks. Well done, great fours. What do you think of Alma so far? 
Very good, Nikwanda. She's helping Nikki up the curve. So she does stop in front when it's clear and she's going up the curve. She does stop a little bit so that Nikki can feel with her feet that she's got to lift her foot. So well done with that. Very good, Zoe. She is looking left and right, making sure that it's safe everywhere. That's right, Monique. She is well behaved. She's not running around going crazy or doing silly things, is she? It's a very, very good dog. She's doing it properly. Very good. So now we have a few photos. Now there's a reason why I'm showing you a few photos, okay? All of the photos will kind of give you an indication of how to answer the question. Okay, so the question that I'm asking on this page is, what does she do when there are people around? So how does Alma behave when there are people around? Well, um, Monique, I think that generally the suggestions is, yes, the owner might be able to have trained her to know where to go so that the dog might know certain words like shop, library, doctor, and it's trained in that way to know where to go and it's trained on those roads before it is handed to the person. So they have to train it in that environment, in that little town, wherever the owner lives. Okay. So the dog would know where to go. Right. She is very good. Now, how does your dog, compare the way maybe your dog or a friend of yours' dogs behaves around people compared to Alma? Crazy. <laughs> what do you mean by crazy? You've got to explain that a little bit more. Because when you say crazy, I think of a dog like that's that's really not healthy in its head. Is your dog shy? Does she hide? Very good. Alma is not shy. And you're also, that's a good suggestion, Dante. Some bark, dogs bark too loud. Whereas Alma is not barking at all. Does it bite them? Oh my, and they're always running around and they're excited. That sounds pretty normal for dogs that are protective of their home and their owner. So Alma had to be trained that although she might be protective of her owner, she still needs to behave in public around people. Now, the one thing that I just want to point out to you is if you notice when they are out walking, you will notice that Alma does not run towards people and jump on them. She also guides her owner around them. So she doesn't expect the person to move out of her way. Alma will guide her owner around them. You will also know this gentleman here who's getting out of the shop, the car, carrying his goods into the shop or to the building. Do you notice how Alma stops, let him, lets him go in, turns and sniffs at him as she walks past before she carries on? So she sniffs at the people and looks at them to make sure that, okay, this, this person's not doing anything, this person's not going to move backwards, this person's not going to come back out again or do anything. So she's a very, very um, aware. That's the word I was looking at. So you have a Boston Terrier. Are they nice dogs? That's good. I'm very much a dog person. I love my dogs. Let's see what Elma gets up to next. 
So yeah, we have Alma and you can see there is something in front of her. There are steps and stairs. So how do you think Alma's going to approach the steps and stairs? Now this might take you a while to type, so I'm going to give you a minute. As you know, I'm not going anywhere, I'm right here. And I'll read your suggestions as they come up. Now, the part of the video where you see the hand, that is actually the owner's hand. Okay, so it's not a stranger or anything. Now, if she jumps and the owner doesn't know she is jumping, would the owner not tumble and fall? Okay, that's why we have discussions because we're bouncing ideas off one another and we're thinking about it. So let's see. Okay, so d welcome, Daresh. Is that your name? Uh, she sits. Yes, she sits. You can give me your real name if you'd like to. She's holding the lady's hand. She barks. Amelia and Jordan. Good. Thank you so much. I'm going to write that down so don't forget for next time. Right. She could bark, yes. Well, she would need to bark. You're abs actually absolutely right, Monet. She does need to bark because she needs to let her owner know that there is an obstacle coming up. Okay. But do you see how she guides her owner's hand to the 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 pole to hold on to. Did you see that? So she gets to the step and she gets to the pole and you see her sniffing. It looks like she's sniffing the owner's hand. She's actually guiding the owner to, to grip onto the bar. Okay. And sometimes Alma will well, it, it's a very short picture. I couldn't catch it completely, but she, is very good in making sure her owner tells her when she's ready to move on. So she'll stop and wait for her owner to get her footing. She'll wait for Nikki to get her footing. And then when Nikki says, okay, we can go, then she'll carry on up the steps now that her owner knows there are steps. So that is a very, very, that'll need very good training to be able to do that. And patience imagine how patient Alma needs to be because when if you can't see where you're going you're not going to walk the same speed as everybody else you are going to go a bit slower so we can see that she has a lot of patience the last photo is where Alma is at the top of the steps now so she's reached the top she did pause. You'll notice that um, when you watch the video, she does pause for her owner to have both feet on the straight and then she can keep walking. Well done, Monique. She's not going to run. So your name is Zoe Rose, not Monet. Okay, I'm going to write that down so that I remember for next time. Thank you so much for letting me know. It does help me so much. Okay. And Monique, your name is Alexi, not Monique. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. All righty. Are you ready for the next slide? Oh, what do you think I'm going to ask you? Yeah. Look at all the things that Alma sees. Did you notice any obstacles? Do you know what they are? Food, food as in actual food or, okay, a restaurant. That sounds much, much better. 
So very good suggestion, Dante. And very good, Alexi. There are, there's a restaurant. There's a board for a restaurant. And then also Alexi suggested that there's a bike. So well done for noticing that. Very good, Nakonda. There are buildings too. There's a car. That's right. So these are all the things that she's had to avoid. Do you know how she actually avoids them? Because we also see in the first photo on the left hand side, there's a bin. Very good. You said it as I said it, Alexi. Snap. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Very good. There's a bin. And um, Zoe Ray sees a pole. And Zoe sees that she's suggests that she's going to go around things. And Alexi, you've suggested that she barks. And Nokwanda, you suggest that she moves away and around the chairs. Okay, so all these things may actually very well work. They are very good suggestions. She definitely does lead her owner around them. Okay, I'm not too sure when Alma has been taught to bark, if it's for an obstacle, if it's for danger, um, it doesn't really say on the video, but one can always read up about that specifically. And it's a good thing because then you can look, you can actually learn something yourself and share it with us. So, yes, I do think, Nukwanda, that it's probably for danger, the barking. It's saved like for danger. But she's definitely very good at leading her owner around the obstacles. Very good dog. Now, what is happening here? Where did Nikki and Alma end up? Very good, Nakwanda. I'm going to wait for a few more suggestions before I read them. Here we go. Well done, Dante. Very good, very good. You guys are very, very interactive and I love the way you're participating, it's awesome. Good job, Zoe. So the lot of suggestions are all the same that Alma is taking her to a bus stop. Now, can you see the, the color of the one bus compared to the other bus? So if you look at the color of the bus in the first photograph and you look at the color of the bus in the second photograph, I know it's not great visually, um, but can you slightly see the different colors? So the second bus is blue, that's right. So do you think Alma led her to the first bus or to the second bus? The first bus is a white top on the top. Very, very good, very good. You guys are sharp with your eyes, eh? Well done. So Dante, your suggestion is absolutely correct. The Alma, very good Zoe. Very good, nice, very good. They, Alma was trained to know which bus to take, okay, because her owner can't see. She walked towards the first bus, she sniffed, don't ask me how she knows by sniffing, and she carried on walking. And she went to the second bus, and if you notice in the last photo, she's actually once again guiding her owner to grip the handle. Now you'll see it better in the video, but she's taking her up the bus and guiding her up the steps. 
So what, what do you think about what you learned today? Did you have fun? Very good. You learned how guide dogs help. Oh, I'm so glad you learned a lot today, Alexi. That's what's important. And you know, if I've put a few little notes there just to just to let you learn a bit more. Um, a guide dog helps the blind person to get around safely. Very good, Zoe, and help people. Now, independently, that means being able to do things on your own. If you're a person that's used to doing things on your own, you don't want to depend on other people to always help you. So having a guide dog helps you have your independence. It also, I don't know if you noticed on the um, pictures that Alma always walked in a straight line. She always walked in front of her owner in the center. She didn't walk to the left or to the right or to the heel of her owner. Okay. The only time she might not have walked in a straight line was when she was bypassing or avoiding an obstacle. Now, this is a very interesting fact. Do you know that Alma also takes in how tall her owner is? So she guides her only through areas where she knows her owner is not going to bump her head on anything. Isn't that amazing? I didn't know that either. I thought it was absolutely awesome for a, a dog to be trained how tall you are. Because we didn't think of that. We always keep thinking of what she could have walked into or falling, but we never thought about her head and what would happen if she knocked her head on something. Now, Alma was a very good example of showing us that guide dogs stop at curbs, they stop at steps, they're able to find doors and crossings and places that the owner goes to regularly. So the owner has to go there often because the dog has to be trained to know where to go. Okay. It, we've also learned that Alma is a very good example of showing us how owners are guided across the road. But the owner still has to decide where she wants to cross and when. So Alma will take her to specific points that she's been trained to, and Alma will let her know that it's safe to go. If the owner tries to cross the road and it's not safe, Alma will bark as Grade fours, a lot of you suggested. So well done. Would you name your guide dog Sammy? That's a pretty cool name. Very cool name. Now, volunteers actually train guide dogs as puppies. So you could volunteer to take in a puppy at about the age of two months, and then you train it to be around people and to socialize and to be behaved. And then these trained puppies at the age of 14 to 18 months, they get taken to proper guard training for intensive training before they are placed with a new blind owner as helpers. So there's a special unit that focuses on the puppies and how they are trained and also how they are looked after as well. So that is very important. The dog also has to be happy, not just the owner. So let's see what we learned today. All you have to do is tell me to choose A or B. Okay, you have just approached a zebra crossing. Now this is pretending if you are a guide dog. Pretend that you are Alma or a guide dog called Sammy. 
Okay, so you have just approached a zebra crossing. What do you do as a guide dog? Do you sniff the post? Or do you stop at the crossing curb and wait to be instructed to cross? Is it A or is it B? We have quite a few suggestions for B. Let's see. There we go. Well done. Pat on the back, grade fours. Good job. Let's look at the next one. You have come to a corner. What do you do? Do you stop and wait for your owner to decide which direction to go? Or do you follow the pavement around the corner? So what do you do, A or B? Okay, a lot of suggestions for B. But remember what you said for the first one. You chose the answer that started with stop. That is a very important instruction for a guide dog. So well done for those of you that got A. Give yourselves a pat on the back for trying as well. So you have to, as a guide dog, stop first, then you wait for your owner to decide when they want to go or which direction they want to go. Okay, it's very important to always stop first. If you are a guide dog and you are going for a walk with your owner, which statement, in other words, which sentence is the right one? Which one is true? Is it A, walk in a straight line in front of your owner in the center of the pavement? Or is it B, walk in a straight line at the heel of your owner to the left of the pavement? I've got quite a few suggestions for A, but I'm not sure if it's for the question before, if it's for the question now. So maybe just retype it again for me. There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. It is A. If you're a guide dog, you must walk in a straight line in front of your owner in the center of the pavement. Next one. You are on a walk and a wheelie bin is in the middle of the path. What do you do? As a guide dog, do you turn around and go back or stop and then guide your owner around the bin? So is it A or is it B? Oh, we're on the ball now. Well done. Very good. Very good. Look at that. It is B. You are absolutely spot on. You stop and then guide your owner around the bin. Last but not least, you are walking next to a busy road and a lorry drives past really close. As a guide dog, do you hide under the nearest bush or do you be brave and continue? So is it A or is it B? Oh, great fours. You can all give yourselves a pat on the back. Awesome job. You have to be brave and you have to continue. Well done. Good job. So for your homework today, this is a little game. Now I know it looks a bit confusing, but it works like this. You can start at the top row and someone else can start at the bottom row. And you go to each word. So you throw your dice. If your dice says four, then you go one, two, three, four. Okay. If you land on a place where there is no word, you just got to wait your turn. If you land where there is a word, then you break it up and say it slowly in syllables. For example, if I throw the dice and I land on four, then I must go, I can look at the answers or a friend can look at the answers. Supposed, supposed. If I go supposed, that's incorrect because there's three sounds. 
So it should be supposed. Bring in. Now, if you say them right, then you can get to build a sentence using that word. Okay, so it practices your words and sentences. And then whoever is playing with you goes on to, it has a turn actually to throw the dice, but they can start at the top. So you're not doing the same words. So even though it says end at the top, your friend or whoever you're playing with can still start at the top. So you can start in opposite directions, just so that you're not practicing the same word because that's going to be a bit boring, isn't it? So you can play this in, maybe you might even think of a better way to play this game. But it's very good practice for the words we're going to use during this week. Okay, this is the video link for Alma. It's called Alma Walk My Way. Okay, and you can click on that link. And you can go and watch Alma. It's just about five minutes long. It's not very long, just about five minutes. And then you will know better how to discuss and answer questions in the week about guide dogs as well. If you want to share any homework or sentences with me or anything about guide dogs, if you want to draw me a picture, if you want to read me something and send it to me, you can email me on sheenamelody at gmail.com. I would absolutely love to hear from you. And tomorrow we're going to do some reading and comprehension about guide dogs. Okay, so I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Tomorrow, same time, same place. Give yourselves a pat.